I remember that fateful night like it was yesterday. It was a dark and stormy evening, with rain pelting down relentlessly. I found myself driving alone through a dense forest, my headlights casting eerie shadows on the tall, looming trees that seemed to whisper ancient secrets. As I ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, an unsettling feeling began to settle over me. The atmosphere grew thick with an otherworldly presence, and a sense of dread gripped my heart. The wind howled mournfully, creating an unsettling symphony that sent chills down my spine. I tried to shake off the unease, convincing myself it was just my imagination playing tricks on me. But then, without warning, my headlights flickered and died, plunging me into pitch darkness. Panic surged through my veins as I fumbled for my phone, hoping its feeble glow could guide me. Through the darkness, I caught a glimpse of something, a flickering light in the distance. It seemed to beckon me forward, promising safety or perhaps even an escape from this nightmare. Desperate for any form of respite, I followed the mysterious light, my heart pounding in my chest. As I stumbled through the undergrowth, the light grew brighter, revealing an old, dilapidated cabin in a small clearing. Relief washed over me as I approached the building, but my relief was short-lived. The air around the cabin turned icy cold, and a haunting melody filled the night, sending shivers down my spine. With trepidation, I stepped into the cabin, its creaking floorboards groaning beneath my weight. The room was dimly lit by flickering candles, their dancing flames casting eerie shadows on the peeling wallpaper. The air was heavy with a sense of foreboding, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. Suddenly, a mirror on the wall caught my attention. As I gazed into it, my reflection seemed distorted, twisted into a grotesque mockery of my own face. Fear clutched at my throat, making it difficult to breathe. I turned to leave, but the door slammed shut, sealing me inside. Whispers filled the room, their voices echoing from the dark corners. Unseen hands brushed against my skin, sending shivers of terror through my body. I screamed, pleading for release, but my cries were met with silence. Time lost all meaning as I descended into a maddening frenzy. Shadows danced and twisted around me, taking form and dissipating into nothingness. The walls seemed to close in, suffocating me with their malevolent presence. Just as I thought I couldn't bear it any longer, the cabin fell silent. The whispers ceased, and the oppressive atmosphere lifted. The door creaked open, revealing the now calm forest outside. Shaken and broken, I stumbled out of the cabin and made my way back to my car, praying that this nightmare would finally end. The rain had ceased, and the forest appeared serene, as if nothing had happened. But the memory of that night will forever haunt me. I am left scarred by the paranormal encounter, forever trapped in the abyss between the known and the unknown. The forest holds its secrets, and I am just another victim of its dark, supernatural grasp.